Welcome back to Don't Think the Box. For today I have a um, maybe a little bit of a different video for you. It's actually something I got for my birthday. My birthday was not in October but in September but I was so excited about it that I wanted to share it with you and I made this video just in case I would uh, maybe have to cross a bridge a week because one of my subscription boxes was late uh, or in this case, um, because the subscription box that I most recently filmed had as a theme Halloween, I wanted to keep that for next week. So, without further ado, let's um, check this little birthday present. Ta-da! Okay, not only is it like super nicely packed, I already know what's inside, uh, just to clarify. Um, but I completely repacked it as I got it, just so I could show it uh, and share it with you. And now I'm going to carefully remove this balloon. I don't know if you can see this is a balloon. Because I'm pretty sure my god the daughter will be very happy to have one. But I have to be really careful not to stretch it. It's just like a balloon with the logo of the shop. Since I wasn't sponsored, I'm not going to show you the logo overly. Um, but it's really nice packing paper, I love it. Um, and I'm going to be very careful with turning this over. Carefully cutting this open. And now I will have to be turning this over again to show it to you, probably, but... There we go. Um, it's a color your own... Well, Color your own Rembrandt adult coloring book. Um, mm -hmm. With examples of all the paintings inside. Oh, you can't see this. I'm going to have to massacre the book, as you can see. Um, and it also has uh, some more. Some more pictures on the back. Um, and so inside you have all these examples of pictures that Rembrandt made and that you can color in. Um, in case you didn't know, I'm a huge coloring fan. Also addicted to color in general. So this is really super nice. And the best thing about it is that it actually comes with, um, I'm not sure, actually I, I don't, I'm even quite sure that it's not the same brand that makes it. It's not the same brand, but, but, um, I got this book, as you can see, in the same pack, with a box of pencils named after Rembrandt, since it's also, I think, in 2019 or 18, is uh, Rembrandt year. So this box, box by um, Brian Theo has as a theme uh, Rijksmuseum, which is um, a big art museum in Amsterdam. And they have a whole set of uh, boxes uh, named after one specific, specific uh, artist, um, Dutch artist, I should say because if I look carefully at the back they also have a I'm going to see if I can show you this 
um, a Vermeer box, a Van Gogh box, and hmm, I don't know who the other guy is. Well, maybe Frans Hals, but don't don't pin me uh, pin it on me uh, because I don't have any of the other boxes. I only just got this one, um, and. Already you can see, like we have here on the back, a sample of the colors inside. As a green lover, I should say I'm a bit disappointed, but in fact, these are the colors that are more often used in, I think, Rembrandt's work. And you can see that there is a really, really nice weep, whoop, selection of browns inside. So, um, I'm going to find a paper and see if we can uh, swatch some of these. Um, I'll be, whoop, I'll be right back. And now I'm going to stop shaking the box because um, that's not going to be healthy. But I will remove this plasticky. On the back, yes, excellent. Now. Uh, where do we have some paper? Paper. I really should have been better prepared. Here's a little sketchbook. Um, can I use this one? Probably. So, put the box right in front of me. I will put the box beside me so you get a good view of the colors. Oh, they're super nice. Okay, just going to check, but one thing, no. One thing that I really like if, uh, in pencils is if they have... I'm just going to check. Like This is really cute, like the back is an indication of the color. I will be checking if this matches. But what I don't like about this set is that they don't, um, uh, they haven't given the the pencils or the colors a name or even an, an identification number. So I'm presuming this means that the pencils aren't available um, separately, which is always kind of a bummer. But I mean, it's already a very nice box, so let's not complain. This is really, really pale pink. I'm not even sure. Can you see this? No, it's out of focus. Oh, wait, it's focusing. Right. And just to since they don't have separate names, I'm, I will, I'm forced to color them in. Um, the way they come in the box, otherwise I would be tempted to rearrange the box just a smidgen, because I don't think all the purples and reds and pinks come in the most um, logical arrangement. But I think that's just, just something that color obsessed people or arranging obsessed people which I'm not but I am color obsessed would would focus on so I have to say um, they are quite hard um, which is, I think, good because I don't press very hard on my on my pencils, and a soft a pencil usually requires uh, some more pressure. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is that they might sharpen a little difficult if they are so hard already. I mean, the lead, the colored lead is the colored lead is quite hard. Um, But the colors themselves are super vibrant, as you can see. Um, they seem to be well pigmented. I can even... I'm not sure if this will show up on, on camera, this, 
this is like um, a very pale skin color. Um, but as you can see, the, um, the order in which they are arranged isn't almost uh, isn't that logical. Um, but I, I am happy with, with the, um, the lead, actually. Um, usually, as I said, um, cheaper pencils will usually be harder, because it means they use less pigment um, and less wax. Um, more expensive pencils, which are also often aquarellable, are usually a lot softer, uh, which means they used more pigment and more wax as in wait have I already done this one is this the same no this was so this one is yeah, and this one is okay see that's that's a difficulty if you don't have names um, but this is actually highly pigmented and a little hard which is the best kind of pencil it probably means that the pencils won't blend easily, but that I will have to check once I started actually coloring. But um, actually, I kind of prefer that because harder pencils are easier to layer, and I prefer to mix my colors by layering them and not by simply um, smushing them together. I'm not sure if that's that's not the technical term, just the way I explain how it works. Um, because even though I am a, a big fan of, of blending, I use blenders a lot, but usually to smooth out my colors and not to mix separate um, colors on the paper. I prefer to actually layer them to get, um, get maybe like an even coat of yellow with a shadow of green. Um, I, I prefer that to be two separate layers and not to be um, be half green, half yellow um, mix. So hard pencils are easier um, for that, in my humble opinion. I mean, it depends on your style of working. But in my opinion and in my experience, harder pe colored pencils are easier to layer. I'm just going to put this. There go these lovely colors. I'm just going to put this on the other side and get going with the second tier. And even though I have remarked that there aren't too many greens inside, I think the selection is quite okay. Um, it is a box of 50. I would have expected and I would have liked more greens, but um, considering that this is a box themed around Rembrandt and I have actually no recollection of Rembrandt using a lot of green, I think it's... Um, justified? Justified was the word I was looking for. We do have a lot of dark blues and and night colory uh, purples which is again I think not something I would search look for myself in a box but considering that this is uh, Rembrandt themed I think that's again that is justified because uh, a lot of Rembrandt's paintings are in fact quite dark And I must say that the few greens that we have are, in fact, really, really nice. Like this green, it's it's a sort of uh, wood green, I would say. But on paper, it's, it comes as almost the shadow that you have in the forest, um, which is really nice. Um, like, I'm all over halfway now and I must say every single color so far has been really really pig pigmented um, 
is super bright, has a very bright hue. Um, so this is not a box for somebody who likes pastels because this lilac that I have in my hand is one of the few pastels in this box. It's also not a box I think for people who like to use very very bright colors because I think if you are intent on using all the colors equally uh, you'll run out of um, reds very fast I think even though there's a lot of red and browns in this selection um, The browns are actually a little bit more muted, which is just something I like very much. And there's a, a good, good distribution, I feel, between the more reddish and the more yellowish browns. Like this is almost a burgundy color. It's brown. If I would have to call it, it's brown. But compared to the other browns, you can see that it's, it's almost like a wine color. But in intensity, you can you can you can very uh, you can see very clearly that like this is a very dark, almost neutral brown, and then it switches between them. more red, more yellow, more yellow, more red, more yellow. So that's that's actually quite nice that you have a, a good a good um, shall I put it that not all your browns are are warm or not all your browns are cold. Now we're coming into the grays. This is almost neutral, but more of a warm grey, I should say. And then we have... Like, this is really neutral. So, I'm supposing that the next grey will be more of a cold colour. Yep. As expected, this is more of a cold grey. And also just a little lighter. Like this is really dark for a grey, but this warm and cold grey are of the same same intensity. So that's nice. It's good for for shadowing and for for um, for the if you want to improve the intensity of your paper, but don't want to um, make the colors super bright. You can always layer like a, a very soft, soft, almost invisible layer of uh, of grey. In the tone that you like, and now, and then just add the color on top, and then it gives a, a, a muted version of that same color. And this is the black, which is, as you can see, super black. So again, I'm going to repeat myself. Um, the pigmentation is really, really good. Um, even like. I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, but I can see the white on the paper, which is something that you don't get often. I will, I will see if I can give you this in a close-up, so you can you can check it out for yourself. But the black is is super dark. Like, see. And now, just a little closer, so. You can see the white. Focus, please. It doesn't show up very nice, but it, it, it shows up in real life. You're going to have to trust me for this one. Um, I think that concludes the box. Um, you might see me coloring in this box book I got in another video, but um, that will be for next time, for this week. Um, that's it. I hope you liked this video and please check back again next week for the Halloween special. Bye!